search his mind. Verse Hold on, you can ask your question too. Right, right, go ahead. Verse 9. Go ahead. If any man have an ear. If any man have an ear, go ahead. Let him hear. Let him hear. Get understanding. What does so-called white people do to Africa? If any man have an ear, let him understand. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. The Lord said, he that leadeth into captivity, come on. So go into captivity. Then they're going to be equal to the Israelites. So, so go, go into, into captivity. captivity. So called white people, you go into slavery the way you let us into slavery. That's going to be your salvation in the kingdom. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword. The way you break, robbed, and murdered, hung, and lynched, and killed our people with the sword. The way a lot of you white women call the rape and got us hung on trees. Right, come on. Must be killed with the sword. What's going to happen to them? Must be killed with the sword. God said the same thing will happen to y'all in the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. Here is the patience. Here is the patience, come on. And the faith. And the faith, go ahead. Of the saints. God said, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's what the true Israelites are waiting for. Vengeance upon our enemies. That's, That's right. right. So you're going to the kingdom, but you're going to the kingdom as our slaves. Right. What's your rebuttal? I was just going to read that passage from Romans 12. It right, talks good. about the Gentiles being grafted in. You mean Romans 11? Right. Yeah, yeah. Romans I just want to read out the page of Esau. Right, go ahead. Say, I say then, have they stumbled that they should follow the context? Romans 11, The right, Jews right. are actually jealous because the Gentiles have been invited into the same salvation. Right, go and that's ahead. the stumbling block. They okay. stumbled over the block because they were jealous that the Gentiles were. Paul is explaining, he says, I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. Now we'll say that in verse 19, the branches were broken off, now with some of the Jews were rejected, that I might be grafted in, the Gentiles. Well, because of unbelief, the Jews had unbelief in Christ, they were broken off, and now says by faith. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God on them which fell, the Jews. Severity, but toward thee, goodness. If thou continue in goodness, otherwise... Stop I got two right more there. verses. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I just do two? So if you finish, finish, finish reading that, finish reading that. And they also, if they abide not, still in unbelief, shall be cracked. No, read the verse before that. Oh. I just read it. No, the verse before that. Read it again. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God... Which is the goodness to bring the Gentiles in and nope, severity to nope, cast some you, you Jews don't off Keep reading, though. on them which fell, Go ahead. Jews and unbelief, severity. So now, who are those that fell? The Jews who didn't believe All right, in Christ because they didn't were believe trusting in their nationality. Okay, now, read on, read on. Goodness, but toward thee goodness, the Gentiles, if thou continue in his goodness. So now, us. did the Gentiles continue in God's goodness? The natural Gentiles of this earth today, did they continue in God's goodness? The yeah, hold up, they, no, no, wait a minute. Christ. The so-called white men and the other nations that are ruling, did they uphold the Bible as the law of the land? We're going to generalize, but no, some did. Yeah. No, did they, the as a nation in general, did you, America, for example, did America uphold the law of God? No, answer the question. Answer the question. Did America uphold the laws of God? No, but they are right there. So, no. The Lord said if he didn't spare the natural You're branches, in America right hold up, if, if he didn't spare the natural branches, which were the Israelites, take heed that he don't spare you. If I didn't spare my own people that didn't keep the law, what the hell am I going to do to you then? Even that you, when you don't keep the law, right. you're going to be cut off. Romans 11, 26. Romans 11, verse 26. Come on. And so all Israel shall be saved. For every nation. And all. so all Israel shall be saved. Read Luke 21, 25. It said all the Gentiles. All Israel. All Israel. They're going to be grafted back into their natural tree. All Israel, come on. Shall be saved. All the Israelites shall be saved. Come on. As it is written. As it is written. Go ahead. Then shall come out of Zion. The deliverer. Yes, shall come out of Zion, a deliverer. Come on. And shall turn away of godliness from Jacob. No, from the Jew, from the Gentiles. From, from Jacob. Jacob. Another nation. From, from Jacob. Jacob. The heathen. From, from Jacob. Jacob. again from the top. Good. And so all Israel shall be saved. He never read that verse. Look at his face. He never read that verse. Look at his face. Look at his face. He never read that. He never read that far. Right? Confound him. Right? Confound him. Confound him. Why do you want to go to chapter 10 now? Because well, we we're reading Romans. We can deal with chapter 10. Hold chapter 10. Read what you got. Luke 21, 25. Here's the mystery. Can I read it after that? Hold up. Here's the mystery to Romans 11. I'm going to give you the mystery right now. Okay. Uh, Luke 21, 25. Read for the book of Luke chapter 21. 
Verse 25. Uh, give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy 7, 19. Right. Can I read two verses? Oh, no, no. Read, read. And there shall be signs in the sun. No, start it on uh, 20. Luke 20. And when he shall, shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. So there was a prophecy in 718 that Jerusalem would be compassed with armies. Then, then know that the desolation thereof is not. He said, know that the desolation thereof is not. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountain. Now the Israelites would be chased out of their land. When the Romans invaded, you would be chased out. Right, that was a prophecy. And let them which are in the midst of, um, of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter there, there into. Come on. For days be the days. No, take over, take it over, take it over. Salak like your brother. Take it over. Luke 21. All right, Luke 21. Right. I, and I want Caesar boy Jazz to hear this. I want Caesar Borges to hear this, right? Luke 21 has started uh, 24. Luke 21? How about, uh, the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. All right, what verse is that? Read 24. Read. Okay. Luke 21, 24. This is. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. But they are the Israelites, the Jews. That's the, the mystery to Romans 11. Yes, the Israelites will fall and the Gentiles will come in. And you guys will take on our identity, our nationality, our U.S. plan of the Jews, the Christians. Everybody will see you as the chosen. Right, come on. And shall be led away captive. Into all nations. And we as a people, we were led sl into slavery into all nations. The Israelites were scattered into all nations. You just no, have to over the world and y'all start to rock. To the point where y'all, now y'all are living as if y'all the Israelites in the Right, come on. And Jerusalem shall be trotted down. Jerusalem will be trotted down. Go ahead. Of the Gentiles. Our land will be overcome by the Gentiles. You natural Gentiles. Come on. Until the times of the Gentiles. Be fulfilled. Until your time is over to rule and all Israel is saved. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Ghost. That's right. So you guys don't get equal salvation with the Israelites. Your salvation is now because you rule the world now. Right. And everybody's looking at you as the Jew, the Christian, the Gentile. Everybody's looking at that, that he is Jesus Christ. That's Jesus Christ. Come here. Come up here for a minute. Hey, come up here for a minute. Now, we want to use you as a model. Hold that sign up. Now everybody's looking at him until the time of Caesar Borgia's be fulfilled. That's right. There it is right there. Jerusalem will be trying down of the Gentiles until the time that Caesar Borgia is fulfilled. Right there you go, right there. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this up. See? He served his purpose. He served his purpose. He gotta go there. But he gotta go. He gotta go. He served his purpose, right? Right him? They made Jesus Christ a white man, right here? When he was a black man, he looked darker than you. Right. Right? Even him know that, right? What color was Jesus? Come on, Huckleberry Finn, come on. Come on, come on, Huckleberry, you know. Come on, Huckleberry Finn, you know what color he was. Huckleberry Finn, what color he was. I get him, get him, I, you gotta be on point, right? Huh, you believe in love? Yeah, What kind of love? Universal love. Huh? There, there's two men that say they believe in love. Who? Oh. You believe in that? Excuse me? You, there's two men that say they believe in love. Do you believe in that? I don't believe in anything. I believe that if people love each other, then it's all good. I don't uh, care so, there, you go. there, you go. there you go. There you go. There you go. So homosexuality is okay? I don't believe in shit. You don't care? Don't care. Don't as long care. as you don't hurt anyone. Right, that's the so-called white man for you. If it feels good, do it. That's Esau's spirit. That's that Esau's spirit, man. Whatever, whatever makes you happy, you right? Love, hey, whatever makes you happy, love, man. Love, it's okay. Love, Open sesame. Love. Whatever you want to do, it's just all fine. But what did the Lord say? Thus saith the Lord. Give me the law. I got the law. Leviticus 20 verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind. What do you think of homosexuality? It's wrong? Where are you from though? You must be from the Bible though. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, you from? Yeah, South Carolina. South Carolina, yeah, you're from the Bible, yeah, though. Right, right go ahead, brother. Read. Read. Leviticus 20, verse 13. Good. If a man also lie with mankind. We even got some white people that say it's wrong. Right. right. right go ahead. As he lied with a woman. As he supposedly now with a woman, good. Both of them have committed an abomination. 
Palestine is going to burn a nuclear fire. Palestine is going to burn up a nuclear fire. The hell with you, man. The hell with you. So you see how powerful this word is? People driving by them Porsches and they worried about us. That's how powerful this word is, man. Drive your Porsche, man. Right. You got it from some of them uh, uh, black and mouths to, to Negroes in the hood and vanilla Dutch and damn bacon, egg, and cheese in the morning. Right. Right. So you got, you got your Porsche off for that. So drive your Porsche, man. Right, read, brother, read. Start all over. Leviticus 20, verse 13. Come on. If a man also lie with man, God. So God said if a man lay down with another man, which is sick as hell. Right, come on. As he lies with a woman. As he lies with a woman, God. Both of them have committed an abomination. Where you guys from? Where you guys from? Holland, Holland, Amsterdam, yeah, anything yeah, goes over there. Right. Yeah, anything Holland, goes over there. Amsterdam, yeah. any, anything goes over there. <laughs> anything goes over there. Right, but anyway, let's continue on. God, brother. They shall surely be put to death. What did Lord say? They shall surely be put to death. Uh, no, he said love is love. Everybody will want to love each other. Just love each other. But the Lord said they should surely be put to death. God, 10 seconds. Yeah. Romans, Romans 10, it says, For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on Jesus shall not be a saint. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's, all right, that's an invitation to read all. Romans, read Romans because 10. Because it's about Christ. Can you read the first and the second verse? Read the first and the second verse. Romans. Romans 10. Romans 10, 1 and 2. Brother, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For who? Because they weren't All right, then there you go. What you got? Acts 2, verse 21. Can I explain the context? So whosoever is talking about the Israelites, because yes, some of the Israelites didn't believe. So Paul said it doesn't matter. He said even a lot of you Israelites that, that knew the law, they were rejecting the teachings of Christ. Right. So he went to a lot of the Greeks and the scattered Israelites, and they were willing to accept Christ and repent and come back to the true identity. That's why I said there's no difference between Jew and Greek. Do you know about the Hellenization period? Yeah. All right, the Hellenization period was what? Greek. There were, no, there was the Israelites that adopted Greek customs and language, and some of them were even born with Greek names and everything. Some of them were totally alienated from knowing that they were Israelites. Because the term of Antiochus and Alexander, when they invaded Jerusalem, they started to Hellenize a lot of Jews. So a lot of the Jews were being called Greeks because they were alienated from their identity. So Paul was saying, they are still Israelites, they can repent and come back to the salvation of the Most High also. Yeah. That's the sum of that. But that's why he said in this, uh, 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 1 and 2, read Romans 10 and 1 again. So what was the invitation to the Gentiles? Right, the invitation to the Gentiles were the scattered Israelites that were, that were in other philosophies and nationalities. And the natural Gentiles, the natural Gentiles that would bow down and know their place under the Israelites. That was the calling of the Gentiles. It was two types. So the it was Gentiles the Israelite foreigners that was to come back to their own commonwealth and rule. Then it was the actual Gentile that was to bow down to the Israelites and know their position. You don't get equal salvation with the Israelites. Read what you got, brother. Like I said earlier. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Go ahead. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer. To the most high for the Lord Israel. said his heart's desire and prayer to the most high for Israel. Come on. Is that they might be saved. Good. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. So Paul said, I desire that the Israelites shall be saved, not every people. So you other nations, your portion is to bow down and serve us. Let's further prove that. Isaiah 14 and 1. I say I love all, but also I love you. Say it again. Do just you like, like you love like me? You can say I love all people. You can also say I love you. Just because I say I love you doesn't mean I don't love you. Right. That's what he's saying. So he, he wants the Jews to be saved. Okay, we're going to But find that doesn't that. exclude the Gentiles. All right, let's get that. Let's get that. Isaiah 14 and 1. Hey. Yeah. Isaiah 14 and 1. Quick on them swords. Quick on them swords. Isaiah 14 and verse 1. Go ahead. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. On everybody. On Jacob. God said he's going to have mercy on Jacob, the Israelites. Come on. And will yet choose Israel. And out of all people, he's chosen the Israelites. Come on. Come on. And set them in their own land. And we're going to be set back in our own land. Here's going to be the order in the new Jerusalem. Yeah. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers, the Gentiles, you're going to be joined with the Israelites. You're right. You are going to be joined with us. Come on. And they shall cleave. To the house of Jacob. But y'all gonna have to cleave unto us. Come on. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Come on. And the house of Israel 
Shall possess them. We shall what? Possess them. No, the Gentiles going to be equal with us. Shall possess them. We're going to possess you Gentiles in the kingdom of heaven. Right, come on. In the land of the Lord. In the land of God, come on. For servants. You men are going to be our servants like you have to be servants to y'all. Go ahead. And handmaids. And your white women are going to have to be our handmaids like our black women were handmaids to y'all. Right, come on. And they shall take them captives. You should take them what? Take them captives. They, they, they will have equal salvation. Take, take them captives. They're going to be in the same position. Take, Take them, them captive. captive. The so-called white man, African, Arab, East Indian, Chinese, Japanese, all you other nations, you're going to be captives to the Israelites. Right, come on. Whose captives they were. Because we were captives to y'all. Right, come on. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We're going to rule over our oppressors. Your forefathers ruled over us. You had us in the cotton fields and South Carolina. Right, come on. And it shall come to pass. In the day that the Lord shall give thee rest. He said, he said not him. Jump down to the 21st verse. Verse 21. He said not him. What's your name? He said, I didn't have slaves. Say it again? I didn't have slaves. Right, you didn't have slaves, but what did God say about that? Read. Isaiah 14, verse 21. Come on. Prepare slaughter. God said prepare slaughter, massive murder and destruction. Good. For his children. You are the children of your ancestors that enslaved us. Come on. For the iniquity of their fathers. All you so-called white people of today, you are the children of your ancestors that enslaved us. So God said prepare slaughter for God now too. Right, come on. That they do not rise. That you guys do not rise. Come on. No possess the land. No possess the land. Go ahead. No fear the face of the world with cities. So that you so-called white people don't rule anymore. Because under the white man's rulership on the earth, what has happened to the earth? Rape, robbery, murder, destruction, lies, war, bombs, drugs, homosexuality, lesbianism, perversion. You know what you white people are doing now? Now you're taking and hanging black dolls of babies and saying, this is what we're going to do to y'all nigga babies. Bring it out, kid. You understand? That's what you're doing, man. And it's all over social media. You're taking black babies and hanging them up on trees saying, this is what we're going to do to y'all black babies. That's what they want to do to our children. And you did a lot of that down in South Carolina, and you're still doing it in South Carolina. Right. And you are the children, you are the children of your ancient black plantation owners, like Storm Thurman. I'd like that to stop. But I know you won't, no you won't. No you don't. But you so-called white people, even in Christianity, y'all still celebrate white supremacy. Yes y'all do, y'all still celebrate white supremacy. But you are the children of your ancestors that oppressed us, so you're going to slave. I want to live by that book. Say it again? I want to live by that book. You're going to live by that book, but you're going to live by that book as my slave. As my slave, you're going to live by that book. We just read it in Isaiah 14. Right, come on. Isaiah 49, verse 23. Come on. And king shall be thy nurse and father. So you want to live by this book? You want to live by this book? What's your name? Gary. Gary. How do you feel about slavery, Gary? Was it bad? I dislike it. Right, would you apologize for what whites did to blacks? Yeah. On behalf of your people, if I ask you to do something according to the Bible, would you do what the Bible says, since you want to believe in that book? Yeah. All right, Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, 23. Come on. And king shall be thy nurse and father. So Gary, you said kings would be our nurse and father. Right now, you so-called white people are in a, a position of kingship and rulership. Right, come on. And they're queens. Thy nurse and mothers. And your queens will be our nurse and mothers. Go ahead. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. So now, Gary, would you bow down right now and apologize for slavery? According to the Bible? Bow down. You bow down and say you would bow down to us. That's, that's Isaiah. Yeah, that's Isaiah. Yeah, he's speaking to you. Yeah, he's speaking to you. No, he's speaking to you. He's speaking to you guys today. Read it again, brother. And king shall be thy nurse and father. It said the kings would be our nurse and fathers. The Babylonians were overtaken by the Persians and the Medes, and they didn't become the nurse and fathers of the Israelites. Right, come on. And their queens, thy nurse and mother. And your queens will become our nurse and mothers. Go ahead. They shall bow down to thee. No, you said you believe in a book, Jared. I want you. If you're sincere, to bow down right now and apologize to slavery. The same Bible says bow down to no one but God. Right, but would you do it right now, Gary? If that's what the Bible says. All right, read it again. The Bible just said it. And kings shall be thy nurse and father. You so-called white people are the kings and leaders of today. But God said in the future kingdom, y'all going to be our nurse and fathers. Right, come on. And their queens, thy nurse and mothers. And your queens, your women are going to have to be our nurse and mothers, like our black, Latino, and Native American women, which are our nurse and mothers. Right, come on. They shall bow down to thee. So now, Garrett, are you willing to bow down? No, you're twisting. Right, so you, you're being proud. So you're not Garrett is being proud. So Garrett is being proud, man. Proud. He's being proud. 
Psalms so 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Come on. They go astray. They go astray. Come on. As soon as they be born. As soon as they be born, go ahead. Speaking lies. See, Javid said he believed in the book. He's a liar. Right. So he's a liar. You so come liar. back with all the children of Satan he's a and you're a bunch of liars because you said you believe in a book, Javid. Give me Proverbs 16, 18. You, but you said you believe in a book, Jared, and you're a liar. We just okay. prove you're a liar. We just prove you're a liar, Jared. That's Guys, how you so called white people are. You are the children of Satan. I can tell you the children of Satan. That's what the Lord munched your damn cheek with that red monk. Because no you are the children of Satan. No one who says you're the, the devil Bible that the Bible speaks of. Read Proverbs 16, 18. Proverbs 16, verse 18. Go ahead. Pray go before destruction. So Jared or Garrett have pride. Pride went before Jared's destruction. By right, come on. And haughty spirit. And a haughty spirit, God. Before he fall. The Lord said a haughty spirit before fall. All right, good night to you, white woman. I see you in the cotton field. Well, I see you in the cotton field. Right there, racist South Cal Carolinians, man. You ain't fooling nobody up here. You can see the demons on them, man. Oh, God. You can see the red devils on them, man. God. You ain't fooling nobody up here. I want to live by that book, yeah, and hang a nigga on a tree. God. 